ignore that giant wall of text and instead just know that this is called upgradable perfection. A unique twist on the perfection idea, perfection usually spawns if you're able to beat three floors without taking any damage and it is a plus 10 luck up but this guy isn't doing anything for me in fact it's a giant x you failed class yeah that's right we're taking it back to the education system with this one so all we gotta do is take this guy and do a few rooms without taking any damage and we actually increase our letter grade which is tied to uh how much luck we get there you go, right there. So we got plus one luck, and now we have a D! A not-so-passing grade, but at least I tried. So my goal here is basically try and upgrade upgradable perfection all the way up to A+, and keep it for as long as I can, and if I lose it, well then we can just get it again. It's not like an actual perfection, right, where you lose perfection, it's gone forever. It literally can't show up on the run again, even if you do another three floors without getting hit. But this guy, yeah, you kind of stack them up. It rewards good play without getting hit, and it kind of gives Gives you a bit of a reward in the downtime where perfection may not actually exist if that makes sense right in the three floors that you're farming to get perfection you have zero luck or whatever luck you have at the moment right but with this version of uh, perfection as an item we're able to get a little bit of extra value right just by playing well for the entire run now we had our c uh, uh never mind not a c minus a c a c basic <laughs> What do they call it? A C basic? A treasure room. Yeah, I'll take a Mr. Mega. Isn't a isn't a C like a passing grade? I'm pretty sure C's get degrees. Yeah, you know how it is. C's are base. I also thought I'd play a little bit of Kane, right? For no other reason than I thought to myself, it would be cool if I found a luck up hill. So maybe, you know, we'll find a, a luck up hill. <laughs> Uh, haunt's done. Uh, range as good as Kane. Let's go downpour. It's been a bit. And let's see just how much we can upgrade our perfection. Verp the verp. You know how it is. Something to note though is this upgradable perfection is uh, a familiar, right? It's literally a familiar. There's another upgrade. C+. Plus. Add one more plus to that and you got one of the coding languages in the world. Yeah, that's right. I'm a little smart. I know that. But since upgradable perfection is an item, that means we still have the opportunity to maybe even uh, land normal perfection if we play well enough, right? So that'll give us the perfection trinket and a double regular perfection A plus with the uh, item. What about- Oh! Dude, what a banger treasure room! I gotta take the side, but god, bird's eye as well? I mean, the luck would have been crazy. But again, this is- I'm looking for defense, right? I don't want to be getting hit is the main idea here. I was about in this shop. You got any goodies for sale? On sale, Poke Go. You know what? Sure. A modest item, an item that I won't really tout too much for the rest of the run. You won't even see me mention it once more. However, it'll do its job, and I'm glad it's here. Ultra Moon, what the hell? Thanks. I mean, it's not incredible, but I'm happy it happened. Thank you. <laughs> oh! So, this is our first instance of skill issue. What is wrong with you? I guess it is kind of important that I show this off, right? Yeah, so on hit, you lose everything, just like regular perfection. Unfortunately, we failed class, and we need to repeat a single grade once again. Give me this blue cap. Do I want devil? Yeah, sure, we will go devil. Oh my god, Brim. Take it, absolutely. Alright, another upgrade back up to C+. Let's hit that B so I can feel a little bit better about myself. I think back when I was in school, I mainly got A's and B's. I think I got like a C or two here and there, but uh, it was nothing too- Oh my god. But I never really focused too much on school. It was just never my thing. I wasn't too into it. Learning? Yeah, how about we learn what these Binding of Isaac items do? <laughs> Actual real reenactment of like a 12 year old Matt man. I'm thinking cursed room with a magic skill. Huh. Now that one's interesting. <laughs> that one's really interesting. I, mm, I kind of want to. I don't know. Miter? I'm trying not to get hit really badly. So typically I'd take Miter here, but I, this. Oh! I am the happiest man alive! <laughs> oh, we got a negative opposite B grade. One of my favorites. What was your guys' favorite class in school? Or if you're still in school, what is your favorite? I'd say my favorite is definitely like literature or uh, English or whatever it was. I always thought they were the same thing to be honest with you. It was just like sentences, you know what I mean? Like it was really, really, really easy. But on the other end for me, like when algebra was introduced and like they said stuff about quadrilaterals, I was clocked out. I simply did not understand. <laughs> now you're throwing graphs in my way? Yeah, no, nah, I don't know how I feel about that. How about I graph how much I care about this subject? Spoiler alert, not a lot. Anyway, take me stem cells. <laughs> More alternate floors? Don't mind if I do. I see no tinted rocks. We're good to go, dude. Secret room to my left. That mega blast was humongous. This is an extra fight? I'll do this, actually. 
Let's do this. Do I care about this pill? A luck up pill? That's good to know. Then let's go fight you, right? Lokai? That's not what you called. You're the upgraded version. You're horny boys. This should be a little scary, but I think my build is okay. I need better base damage, though. The best thing about this is that I was smart and- Oh! Decided to get Holy Mantle before coming here, right? For that specific situation where I don't need to worry anymore. Also, Sci fly is broken. Look, look at the things he's doing. Absolutely, undeniably carrying this fight. Since when can you teleport? That- This was added- I guarantee you what he has a smoke screen bomb that was patched in yesterday you cannot convince me otherwise I am certain of it <laughs> How about we TP straight to the shop and get balls? PhD is pretty useless. It would basically be a 15 cent fill. Part of me kind of wants to do that though, to be honest with you. But nah. What kind of wild man man would go to mine slash ash pit while trying to farm perfection? This kind of madman. That's right, me. Get out of here. You don't scare me. You and your gooey face. Let me in here. Straw. Polydactyl is okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Good pill as well? Definitely. While I do enjoy the paperclip, I think the uh, numbered magnet is actually way too strong. Anything that increases deal chance, I just take automatically, right? Book of Belial, Pentagram, uh, Number Magnet, all these like different items that increase deal chance, I always think are top, 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 top tier. It would be crazy if I got one more magic mushroom, but I don't think that's gonna happen. That's okay though. We're getting really close to A. I feel like I've done a lot of rooms. Well, never mind. <laughs> I forgot I TP'd. Anyway, listen, uh, I'm, it's gonna like, all go away right now because Sin will hit me. We all know this. The only situation where I do not get hit is if I were to fight Rapscallion. Um, we know this. Singe? Gideon? Yeah, that's, that's guaranteed damage right there. No human on Earth has ever- Yep, there it is. I can't do it, dude. <laughs> it's too hard. Placenta. Devil. Oh! It ain't hard anymore. No matter what I say, it doesn't matter. I've also never seen this devil room before. Ever? Have you guys seen this one? Wait, I'm sorry. Like, reel it back. Enough, like, a skill issue. Haha, you lost perfection. I've never seen this room before. Two dudes chained up to the... Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Cool. Uh, okay. Twisted Pair, Tech X, Sci Fly. Now, I feel like I can't lose anything. I will get perfection. And I will get that A+. plus. We're still getting luck up, right? Still six luck. I, I, I must, like, I have to stress, right? Like, is this a video about upgradable perfection? And... It's insane how good it is. Just by playing halfway decently well, I have six luck. I think one of those was a luck up pill earlier, right? But even then, like, just like think about it, right? Five luck for what? Playing Isaac naturally? Undeniably a god item. Absolutely take this if you can. This is the part where I realize that I don't know what pool it shows up in and I'm gonna have to do research and put it on screen. Wow! There you go, there it is. Look at those editing skills. Well, with that, I will take our twisted pair very nicely, very happily, and we will leave. And this time, I will best the education system. I will become the smartest five-year-old alive. You cannot stop me. What is that one show? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> I'm gonna be real guys, I don't think I'd be winning that one, but I give my all. I, I guarantee you that, I'd give my all 100%. Boom! For all I know, that blind item is like magic mushroom or something crazy. Leech. It's still really good, honestly. Base damage, still kinda suffering, even with Twisted Pair Tech X. It feels wrong to complain, right? I I'm not complaining, rather, it just feels wrong to even comment on it, I guess. But that's where it all changes, because balls are overpowered. And I'm gonna use them to get some stats here. Gimme you, and gimme you. Speed up as well, very, very good shop. So this will be the first floor I do with completely no damage, presumably, right, in our quest for actual perfection on top of upgradable perfection, for that mythical golden perfection stat of 20 luck. So it's gonna be a long and egregious fight ahead. But uh, at this point, if I get hit, I, I really can't make an excuse. Like I have a god build, let's be real here. I should definitely be landing this. Unless it's an ash pit boss. Actually, the pile's okay. I'll take pile. Oh my goodness. Brimstone donuts out the wazoo. A later, dude. Okay, range up is useless. I don't want to... Ooh, actually, it's not useless. Mob transformation. It's the most useless transformation. Uh, I'm going to look for the secret room, but I don't want to go to Gehenna or Mausoleum. I feel like I don't even need to explain why. Uh, but if you do need to know, it's because I will be getting hit if I go there. That place is too difficult for me. Not when I'm trying to farm perfection, right? I'd much rather fight like depths or something. I'm gonna say something really weird, which I don't think anyone's gonna understand, but I feel like of all the grades that I look at, right, of the, the US lettering grade system for the education system or whatever the hoo-ha, I think that A- minus is the most satisfying one to look at, and I don't know why. I feel like I had this thought when I was a kid, right? Like, oh wow, I really like how that looks. 
but I, I didn't I can't explain it <laughs> maybe it's because it's like a giant triangle with a giant line and then the minus is just another giant line so it makes sense to my brain I don't know just looking at it it just makes me happy I don't know if there are other like, oh my god a lucky penny I don't know if there are other like a, a minus stands out there in the world <laughs> But if there are, please let yourself be known. That way I know that I don't just have brain damage. Give me the Serpent's Kiss though. That's pretty cool. Plus a tears up. Nice. A minus. There it is. I'm telling you, it looks good. Something about it. So I imagine it's going to go A, A plus, right? So we're not that way all the way to... Ooh, ah, that's not useful for us. So we're not all the way done with upgradable perfection, but we are closing in actually. It definitely seems like you can get perfection levels of uh, luck within one floor, actually, instead of three floors as you move forward and the floors get bigger and bigger. Vault in here, just two spiders, a dude that we can blow up. Goodbye. We can rip the tears up here. And luck is very essential, right? Not just for pickups, but you know, it's also really good for when you have a status effect. Like if I took that bird's eye earlier, then I'd be having 100% fire rate right now, right? And it'll go crazy. Thanks for the 0.04 speed up. I'm really moving now. You've never seen a baby run as fast as I have. And we got mom. That was that was really fast. <laughs> Let's go beat the hush, actually, I think. We probably can. Don't get hit by that. World's loudest synergy. Thank goodness. Um, I'd like to go up today. It's been a bit. Devil again. Good devils today. Nothing too crazy this time, but it is conjoined progress, which does matter. Don't discount that. Do I want Pound of Flesh? Do I want to start spending money for my deals? I, I think I do, actually. Uh, mainly because it's just different and it's fun, right? Okay, that was the second floor. We're doing pretty good, actually. We're at an A. A without the A plus there does feel pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so used to seeing perfection with a plus that is freaking me the hell out. All we gotta do is beat this floor without getting hit, and in theory, I should just get perfection, and I'll have, uh, I guess 24 luck, if my math's correct. I'm talking a lot about, like, studying and math today, huh? <laughs> Where's Vsauce at? What was that one guy? I, I, oh man, I, I'm getting whiplash. Khan Academy? That guy helped me through the dredges of school, dude. <laughs> the undeniable gallows of fifth grade were demolished by Khan Academy. I can't believe we haven't hit A plus yet, actually. I feel like we've done a lot. Come on, where's that A plus at? We are honestly getting a lot of pickups again, right? Because of our insane luck stat. It's gotta be here. No, really? Still not A plus? You are making me work for it. Super secret over here. This could be good. So many reverses. Two diamonds is good. How about we take the stars for a random TP on the next floor? Check out the secret room. And we also have that sun card still, right? For uh, random mapping on a floor that I decide on. There you go. Wow. This is why Kane is so based, by the way, dude. You get a single tears up on your entire pill rotation for the run. You know you're sitting pretty. You will hit five tier rate, dude. It's so satisfying, genuinely. Just knowing you're gonna hit like maximum tier rate with no effort whatsoever. Blast assist is posted posing more of a threat to me than most of the final bosses in Isaac. <laughs> there it is! Actual perfection. And somehow I don't have A plus perfection. It's still an A. Still, I'll take it. We just need to do a little bit more. Just do probably a couple rooms and upgrade that. Devil room has satanic. A very nice find, but do I even want? Not really. It wouldn't do much for me. I actually think the sulfur is a far more fun thing to play with. So let's go with that actually. Okay, I have a decision between a random TP and the stars, and I'm choosing the stars because I have Curse of the Lost. Where am I? Who knows? Now, the worst thing that could happen is I get hit. <laughs> That's been the worst thing that could happen the entire I run. But now it's extra, extra bad because I'm literally one off from perfection. Or I'm assuming? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just maxes out at A, right? Like, I, I don't know. I thought the thumbnail for the workshop was A+, but maybe I misread it. It makes sense if it was A+, but I feel like I've done so many rooms and it's just not going up. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Either way, I'm gonna just make sure I don't get hit whatsoever, right? I'm gonna play my best. Take this to as far as we can. It's over, actually. For those of you that watch me very much daily, you'll know that sometimes my power goes out and I just lose recordings just entirely and I just have to cry about it. It's a real tough situation. When I mentioned that one time, I, a viewer mentioned that I should buy a no break, which is kind of like a power supply for your PC, right? So if power goes out, you should just go off of the power supply and keep going. That way I have time to just hit, you know, stop recording and save it. Uh, you know what? I did that and the only reason I'm mentioning this at all is just purely to say thank you for the suggestion. That was an awesome suggestion and really smart. Thank you. <laughs> 
Back when I used to work in manufacturing too, I used to uh, actually build little stands for those computers that have those power supplies because I used to work on one of those PCs, right? Uh, when I was in manufacturing, I had like a laptop and I was going around checking out different machines and stuff. And I had a desktop version of my laptop so that I could uh, go to and it had that power supply. So I thought, oh my god, it's perfect. I already know how to do one of these. This is all stalling conversation for where the hell is the boss room. It might be in this direction, I guess. But who knows in the utero? <laughs> I feel kind of bad for those dips. I don't think they really deserve the Zazel's Rage like that. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna do it. Also, I'm gonna come to the conclusion that upgradable perfection stops at A and I actually have it because that thing is not upgrading, dude. Unfortunately, at this academy, you are not able to overachieve. We do not believe in that here. You either achieve or you fail. <laughs> All right, very cool. Devil room, probably the last in a long time. We get perfection out of it. That's called conjoin, idiot. And we go fight Hush with our newfound powers. Let's try and keep perfection all the way to the end. If I'm lucky here, I'll get an item that benefits off high luck, right? If I'm unlucky, I'll get, uh, name a bad item. Name a bad item, the poop. That, those are, those are good. Oh, I kind of want to forget me now, but uh, this is too good to have. I really, really am enjoying this like brimstone that I'm having randomly. Uh, Esau Jr. is highly underrated and probably one of the best active items in the game, but people aren't ready to have that conversation yet, including myself, because I don't really use it that much and I don't know how much potential it has. Me saying that it has the most potential in the game was completely out of my ass, <laughs> but I can actually see it. E e Esau Jr. really has untapped potential. I think it is a good active item if I'm being real here. Uh, Dreamcatcher, sure. Spider mod, sure. Uh, this is spiked damage, but it is self-sacrifice damage, so I will be buying that battery so I have a uh, brimstone for the hush fight. We're gonna donate for more luck, just cause we can. Buy this for stats, buy that for stats. And there you go, all good. I think we got all range ups, but whatever. Let's pop it and let's go. Huge brimstone, an okay amount of damage. The brimstone wave is huge, but the damage itself is okay. We don't have any tier effects tied to our high luck. So it's kind of more just like a skill fight than anything, which I'm down for. Let's get it, Hush, you and me. I didn't realize how fast I could shoot. <laughs> I got a machine gun of brimstone donuts here. I'm, I'm just letting Sci-Fly kind of wipe everything. I don't know if you could tell, but he's basically playing Power Watch Simulator with the bullets right now. Honestly, remember when Sci-Fly got nerfed? Yeah, me neither, dude. Sci-Fly to this day has just always been so crazy. Look at the numbers go. I am unironically playing Borderlands. Where jolts do that? I was going to play uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I, I never played it, and I didn't hear a lot of people talk about it. But I do have a love for the Borderlands series, if I'm being real. So I, I, I wanted to try it at least. But yeah, Sci-Fly. Fly, I mean, this is the nerfed version. This is a nerfed item, but it, it just never really felt like it. Like, nerfed my ass. Are you kidding me? This thing's crazy. If I had a counter for how many shots Sci-Fly blocked, that would be sick. Just like a custom thing, just because, like, I want to check. Like, oh, how many times did you save my life? That many times? Oh, that's sick. Thanks, Sci-Fly. An undeniable goat item. Hush screams into the void, but I do not give him mercy. Goodbye, idiot. Playing well so far. It had a little bit of a bozo in the middle, but I'll forgive myself for that, right? I mean, it was Singe. I always get hit by Singe. It's just my demon. That's how it is. But I think I can recover and maybe close out here with a perfect game for the ender here. And I would love that. I'd love for me to have a perfect game ender. Red chest, speed up, don't need. What is this guy? I can see forever, insanely good to find. Very powerful secret room, I, uh, I'm dead. I, I should have gotten hit and I am only blaming Sci-Fly for the reason that I did not. But yeah, I can see forever being able to see every single secret room for the entire floor. Insanely powerful ability. It's literally x-ray goggles, right? I, in fact, I get to have another one. That's so sick. I, I don't even know if I want to do the rest of these. I think it's better if I leave, right? Because less chance of me losing my perfection. Cathedral rooms go crazy. Ever since Repentance, dude, I always thought like, oh man, Cathedral's easy, dude. No problem. I just thought Shoal was harder and then Repentance came out and they added like those giant bony dudes and holy eye lasers and they just changed everything and now i get hit here kind of consistently so let's let's bounce get out of here isaac i don't want you cool stuff one more floor for a perfect run quote unquote right what are you guys snacking on, by the way? I know you're snacking on something, or you're slurping on something. Better be water. I have no right to say you better be drinking water. I never drink water, by the way. A cracked orb, which is funny, because this could open Mega Satan, but I'd end up losing my... <laughs> I'd end up losing my perfection, because it. I would need to induce self-damage, right? No roll, so we just take all of this stuff. 10 base damage with all the tech X's that I am tossing is going to be huge for us. Fruitcake will probably get us hit, but that's the fun of it, so don't worry. And this is where the luck really pays off, right? Because we just get so many different 
different chests, and a chest literally equals an item, and you just buff yourselves up way faster than the game can keep up, and you outscale it, and then I get hit here because he's gonna do a laser attack and I'm dead. Except I'm good! Alright. Another one, Dead Tooth. I almost said Dead Touch, which would be a really cool item, actually. Dead Touch, I like that one. Dead Tooth always still confuses me to this day, because sometimes I just remember it as Halitosis, which is what the uh, old text used to say. Still gets me confused to this day, honestly. Whenever Azazel's Rage pops off like that as well, I get extra scared because that is a full-on brimstone I cannot control. I just have to shoot it. And the reason that's terrifying is because I have Fruitcake, one of the most undeniably chaotic uh, random tier effect items in the game, right? You really could just randomly blow your- You really could just randomly blow yourself up. Or you could find C-section and have an absurdly lucky run. And you could just stop saying anything because it doesn't matter. You win. It's over. Look at this! Look at the run that I got! What? Excuse me? Why did I receive this? I don't understand. <laughs> Was it a freebie? I forgot the sun card even existed. Boom. We really actually are gonna have a very, very perfect run. I don't see a situation where I get hit. I shoot once in a room, everything is dead, right? That's so insane. I- this was such a good run for this as well. I'm so happy, dude. What a perfect run for, like, upgradable perfection video, right? Give me this. Could have spun, you never know. Data miner. I'll do it for fun, even though I hate this item. Tears up. It was the first time it was ever useful. That's actually foreshadowing. If you didn't know, my patch of the Binding of Isaac actually foreshadows, uh, future updates for the game. So that's why you always have to keep watching me, right? So you can point out easter eggs. So, uh, Data Miner actually being good there and being a tears up was actually foreshadowing for the future where data miner is going to be buffed in the next patch you'll see the isaac update patch yeah it'll be buffed trust me i'm actually binding of isaac in real life if you didn't know well i think we close out here right that was perfect so many chests so much luck literally giving us c-section because we were able to keep our luck so high and get that chest right pop the brim go crazy it's over dude c-section tech x a beautiful looking run it's not over can i no hit delirium well i have a sun card to see where I'm going. Let's try it, dude. One final fight. Can I no hit delirium? Well, first, let's figure out where he is. Uh, <laughs> I found a few culprits. I'm not gonna lie. I'll check him out real quick. I know this guy is not it. What? Do I have curse of the maze? I do. Delirium, you're such a troll. <laughs> Okay, while I can't see Delirium, the best thing I can do is constantly do like giant ovals like this because uh, this will avoid a mom teleport stomp, which is infinite damage. Uh, I can't believe I dodged that either. There you go. There, there's the hit. Wh where did I get hit from? I'm so curious. <laughs> and uh, that'll be it. The moment I walked out of that boss room, I cursed the maze into Delirium. Something I've never seen before. So that was a new experience as well. Tons of new experiences today. I hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, GG's. Later, guys.